Hey guys, and welcome back to Spyro. When we last left off, we had completed at least two of the levels here. I can't actually remember exactly which ones. Ah, yes. We did Dark Passage and Haunted Towers. Okay, so we're actually quite far through Dreamweavers, which is good. Okay, um, now that one is Dark Passage. We've done... Oh, you little shitbag. See that? That's why you got to watch that tosser on the gun. Okay. <clears throat> now let's go take this. Well, uh, there's no point in cleaning this place out, I suppose. Let's go to the top. Let's see what one was up here. Um, Icy Flight Bugger. I can't actually remember Icy Flight that well. Uh, let's have a look at the achievements. Dry Canyon. Yeah, we are actually going to have to go back and do some of these. Which isn't too bad. Crystal Flight, Flame All the Direction Fairies. That's not too bad. Uh, complete Wild Flight without touching the ground. Yeah, I think these are going to be a little bit more challenging for me, but we shall see. Uh, charge four puffer birds in a row. Uh, okay. Icy Flight, never land on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be something. Uh... Rass Rattastic, Nork Cove. Complete the Nork Cove without killing any rats. Oof. Okay. Uh, destroy the six gears. Yep, that's fair enough. Uh, have Nasty Nork run five laps around his level. Uh, that's not that hard, actually. Uh, hoarder. Right, we've got most of the achievements then, I guess. Uh, we shouldn't have too much trouble in polishing the rest off. Right, I don't want to do Icy Flight just yet. Because, you know, I'm not a fucking sadist. So, let's go this way. See if we can find some more levels. Alright, get out of the here, you bastards. Let's go take the guy off the gun. Looks like we've got a... A level over there that we can go and do. Look at this turd. He's literally aiming right at us. Get fucked, man. Such a nutsack. Right. Give me some of the good stuff, Barry. Now, I have been playing a little bit of the second game on my... Ah, oh, shit. Okay, that's fine. I have been playing a little bit of the second game on my Switch, and I've really been enjoying it. It's, it's fantastic. Wait a minute. Wait one cotton-picking minute. That's the other level that we've done. <laughs> Titan, are you sure you've played this game before? Uh, yes. Maybe. Once or twice. Uh, I swears. Okay, uh, I guess we're gonna go back over the other side. I know the levels are quite hidden on this level, or on in this world, which I don't even mind. One thing I was surprised about the second game, um, is just how freaking big the uh the the overworlds are they're like layered within layers and layers of worlds uh, at least that's what it kind of seemed like to me uh, i have to get used to it of course lofty castle <sighs> where are the other worlds mm, there's got to be one over here hidden away i think that's the boss over here should we go do the boss just uh for the sake of it because that is actually... This one's quite a meaty boss level, from what I can remember. And whilst uh, he's flying away, I'm going to sit here and drink my hazelnut coffee. Because I am a cultured swine today. Are you suffering over there, babe? Gabby's trying to work our way through... Uh, Ass Creed at the moment. Right, Valhalla, which actually looks very good. Now, um, you've got armor on you, so you can get fucked. This level, actually, for a boss level, is really long. And it's quite complex as well. Lots of fools, lots of trip switches. You know, we are truly in a complex environment here, which is fine. I don't think there's actually... Oh, shit, there is one thing. We've got to get a perfect... Oh, you bastard. We've got to get a perfect on this level. Now, one thing to remember. I think I experimented with this before. I'm fairly sure 
you don't have to get a perfect in the entire level you've just got to get a perfect on the boss so that does kind of alleviate a little bit of the pressure all right you can get fucked mate so we've got 500 treasure and two dragons yeah that's the weirdest thing for me in spyro 2 the fact that there are no dragons to get ow dick fucking dicks man i hate these guys standing on their little little fortress of solitude little fucking freedom platforms bastards okay uh mm, can we make it over to there nope <laughs> lel yeah so i haven't actually played this for ages man it's been it's been too long i've been missing my spyro fix i do try and have a session once a week on my games but uh, i have been preoccupied with another game of late. One game that is literally taking all of my free time. Uh, and that is Dragon Quest XI. I'm utterly absorbed into that right now. Damn you bastard. Right, there we go. Yeah, what a game that is. You know, I've never played a Dragon Quest until I played XI. And it's really good. It's just, you know, the story's not going to set the world on fire or anything like that. And it's been way too long since i played a Japanese RPG. But the characters in the combat is just, you know, they just tickle the right boxes. It's really fun. And I don't know how far the way I am through the game. I'm about 24 hours in, I think. Jesus. Deceptively long swings on those guys. There we go. One more hit and we're done. That's not great, is it, really? You, I need you to move this for me. Cheers, pal. Luckily, we have, nice, we have a shroom, which is good. Yeah, this boss actually ain't too bad at all. Oh, God. All right, get fucked. Get fucked with a capital F. All right, give me that. Uh, one other cool little change that I like with Spyro 2 is they've gotten rid of the dragon statues as extra lives which I thought was a bit interesting. Instead of getting the dragon statues, they go for the blue butterflies. You find them in little bottles, which is really fun. Man, I'm, I'm so hopeful for a, a new Spyro game. I really am. I don't know whether we will get one. But, especially considering how bad Crash 4 has sold, and I'm surprised Crash 4 sold that badly. I mean, I didn't think it was going to set the world on fire. But I did think it would, you know, at least make its money back. But apparently that's not the case. Apparently it's really flopped hard. To the point where I've, I've almost thought about buying it myself. You know, just to, just to pump the number up by one. But then I come to my senses and, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'd enjoy it, to be honest. Okay, because I really didn't enjoy the trilogy uh, in the way that I thought I would, as I've said before. This is a shame. Anyway, who are you? Revilo. Revilo? Rolly Boy. Advice before this battle? Advice. Hmm. A wise dragon once told me aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Yes. All will uh, come clear, Spyro. And we might as well get killed because straight off the bat, he's hit us. Ah. This is what happens when you play a game for about a thousand years. Or maybe not a thousand years. Probably more like a week. Really? Is he like homing on them? Homing? Boxes? When you burk, hit me again. Ooh, that sounds kinky, doesn't it? Hit me again, Daddy. There we go. Job done. Right, let's have about six percent less failure this time, Spyro. Huh? I'm also not sure if this resets the counter. Like, if we've already died on him. Does that mean that we have essentially lost 
the ability to win the skill point? I don't know. So we have to chase him to these platforms, and it's only when he's on these platforms can we hit him. <clears throat> but he's actually like really, like stupidly easy, to be fair. But then, oh no, oh you utter penis. Here I am, yeah, he's stupidly easy, you know, uh, whilst I'm getting my ass stomped. Uh, what am I doing, what am I doing? All right, wake up, wake up, wake up, man, wake up, Jesus fucking Christ. Go on, kill me. Kill me. Send me to the underworld. Thank you, sir. May I have another? One more should do it. Good man. Also, I must say, like, with us both in this gaming room, uh, with the consoles going, and the PCs going, and all the monitors, and all that good stuff, my god, it gets hot in here. This is something that we're, we're just uh, realizing, I think. Bearing in mind, it's winter and it's freaking freezing. Ooh, that was close. If you want to stay warm, man, go to the gaming room. Turn all the gear on. Jesus Christ. Oh, that was almost bad. There we go. Right, now, if we can get him once more, I believe, we should be good. Are oh, you... Ah, yeah, that's right. You've got to chase him over to this little plimp here. Trouble is, little bastard's got a kill zone right in front of him. Uh, there we go. Skill point acquired. So, okay. If you die and you reset the game, that does actually count, which is pretty damn cool. Quite happy with that. So, we've got a few more gems here. Because I was missing those gems for the longest time. And, uh, yeah, these gems here, because obviously I didn't want to exit the stage. <clears throat> so I was running around looking for the last few gems. And I couldn't find them for ages, but we're not done yet. We are not done yet. No way. So, what are we like, skill point-wise? Haunted Towers. We've got Burn the Blue Wizard Hat. We do have to destroy the hidden stump on Lofty... Oh. Yeah. Right, we forgot to do those two. The hidden stump's a bit of a dick, uh, but it's not that bad. Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> right, well, hopefully we can claw back some of these lives. You're right there, pal. Have you got anything for me? Blue life. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. Ask and you shall fucking receive. Um, now, let's go back through this way. You have to be careful. Because I'm noticing, look at that, I'm noticing that quite often gems, especially on these later levels, gems are getting left behind. Which is frustrating, to say the least. Also, the flight mechanics in Spyro 2 are, well, just the controls in general. I don't know whether it's... Uh, just that I perceive them to be this way, but they seem to be a little bit smoother. Ow. Get fucked. Get fucked. Yeah, there's something about the controls that just seem a little bit smoother, more polished. Where I thought, how do we get that one down? Hmm. Is it you? You little ball bag. It's not you. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Now, these guys don't do an awful lot of much, so it might actually be him. It is him, yeah, thought as much. Okay, son of a... <clears throat> That's why he's got such a long timer on him, I guess. Okay, right, let's get you. Let's flame your loopy ass. Okay, not bad. Right, <clears throat> good, better. Now, let's go rescue the last dragon. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Take care. Cheers, buddy. Thank you for absolutely fuck all. Could have given me some words of uh, wisdom or something, but no. Right, you got anything for me, friend? Ah, uh, well, you know. Ah, yes. Yes, these are like Nork grannies. Right, Spyro takes flight. Goes on a murder spree. 
Ooh, achievement. Oh, okay. I must have missed that achievement when scrolling through the list. Cool. Well, I mean, you know, we did it. I mean, of course we did it. And if we didn't do it, we'd retry it again and again and again until we did it. But unfortunately, those those achievements are kind of... I guess they're probably the worst ones because you get one shot at them. Uh, and if you fuck it up, which, let's be honest, I will... If, if I can fuck it up, I will. Um, and then... Ah, oh, no. See what I said? See, uh, prime example there. If I can fuck it up, I will. Yeah, so... You only get one shot of those, and if you fuck it up, you have to reload the level and get back to where you were. Which, on a short level, is not a bad thing, but this is quite a long one. But, I suppose, they're also pretty bloody easy. Unless you're retarded, and let's be fair. Uh, I'm definitely retarded at times. Can you even say retarded anymore? I don't know. You can't even fucking call a game. Ooh, shit. Really? Look. Like, Retarded. Can't even say blind playthrough anymore. It's fucking ridiculous, man. Like, come on. I mean, y you know, it's getting pathetic. Let's be fair. Okay. Right, let's get you done. Okay. Ugh. Not bad, not bad. Oof, this is going to be a long one. Oh, go. I mean, this level went fairly smooth, if we forget that we died 30 times. In fact, this has been the worst level for deaths, I think, since Lofty, not Lofty Castle, uh, Treetops. But then Treetops is always casualty heavy, you know. Spyro does always die quite a few times. Um, cool. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, they respawned because we died. Yeah. So maybe if you die, uh, special enemies like that do respawn, I guess. Huh. Well, that's that's good, game developers. That That's good. Okay. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Right, you can get fucked. And you can sit down too. And I am getting out of here. The shroom over there as well, so hopefully we can grab him. Are you suffering? No, but that was dark. What? I had to kill someone because he was a king killer. Oof. And he just admitted to killing the king. So, like in cold blood, and then made it look like he, he got eaten by wolves when he didn't. Oof. <laughs> he made it look like he'd been eaten by wolves. Yeah. Oof. Stuck. Somebody else's dagger in his chest, so I wouldn't have to take it. Oofed. How'd you kill him? Hmm? You have to kill him in battle? Or... Yeah. Ooh. You need to go do the builder as well. Yeah. Well, his attacks are really stupid as well. Like, he's got a rune attack, mm -hmm. which you can't, which you can't, like, um, parry. So you have to dodge out the way, and if you, if you get hit by it, it's, um, it's a lot of damage. So, yeah. Is that what you're swearing about? Yeah. <laughs> but you did it. You did it. I believe. I have faith. Oh, shit. We've got to do this guy again. Hey. You swear whatever language you want. I like... I like English. I like English. Because you can say cunt in English and, and, you know, it's just expected. And accepted. Oh, fuck. Right, let's get out of here. I would actually say this is probably my favourite boss level. Just because it is so <laughs> large. Lel. And, you know, we like big things. I do like the way the boss levels do get more and more complex as things go on. Nasty Norks. Uh, he's quite an interesting boss level, but yeah, well, it's more complex level, but it's not as much fun as this. It's not as open, you know. There's so much to collect, so much to see in this one. 
So, that brings us <clears throat> to the end of him. Good. And we got the achievement and the skill point as well, which... Well, I didn't actually know there was an achievement there, so... That's nice. Okay, level 100% complete. You are done, son. Now, Nasty Nork, his level is actually a little bit different. Uh, you're going to be a knob. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, no. You little son of a... Uh, I'm recording that. He just literally, like, punted me off. What a dick bag. You can... Honestly, I'm losing my patience with these guys now. Um, right, so we've got the flight level to do. But there's one other level here somewhere. We, have, we don't want to do crystal flight just yet. There's one more to do. Right, good man, that man. But for some reason, I can't remember where it is. And I don't know why. Right. This is always so satisfying. Now, I, there's nothing up there. Around, uh, maybe up here? I guess. But I don't think so, because this is just an ice flight. Unless there's another gate up here that I've forgotten about. That's Lofty Castle. Now, Lofty Castle, there was a skill point, wasn't there? Destroy the hidden stump, yeah. Well, let's go and have a fiddle with that, shall we? Whilst we're here, I guess we might as well. Alright, Lofty Castle. Now, this hidden stump is a bit of a burk. It's... Yeah, there's a very specific way you have to get to it. And I think, actually... Eh? He says as well. What? He says my dad says Burke. I like that word. It's it's stress relief made easy when you get pissed off with someone. And you're just like, you know what? You're a fucking Burke. Right. So, wait. Are we not? Oh, we haven't done Lofty Castle yet. Why was it on our list? Okay, that's fine. That's why I was confused. I was like, wait a minute, there's a level we... we okay, fine. Uh, I tell you what, maybe it's the hazelnut coffee. Maybe it just doesn't have the caffeine in it. Right, so this level is an interesting one, to say the least. It's probably one of the more complex levels in the game. And you get these burks that go up and down. Damn it, now I can't stop saying that word. And they're uh, elevated by little balloons, and it's so satisfying to pop them and watch them plummet to their death. Now, notice if you look down, you can't even see the ground. So they fall a long way to their, their doom, which is very satisfying indeed. Yeah, Spyro's a bit of a monster when you think about Well, of course he's a monster, he's a dragon, but, you know, he's evil. Like the cats, the chaos kit. Ooh, you see that? See the, you son of a bitch. Get fucked. Right, there we go. So what have we got here? We need to... Oh, yeah, we need to save the fairies here. The fairies will actually help us out. This level does revolve around uh, a lot of fairies. Dragons do have uh, a liking for fairies in this universe. Do not feed. Do not feed the fairies. What would you feed a fairy anyway? I have no idea. Alright, let's grab some gems. Okay, so. We've got that gentleman there, which I believe we have to just flame his ass. Right, so. You see there's a tree directly in front of us there, and there's one there. The stump is right there, but due to popping, it actually hasn't appeared. But if we get close, it should pop in. Right. 
He's a bit of a tricky bastard to get that one. All right, so what we like, there we go. We've got all of the berries and they create a lift, which is good. Now, have we got all the gems around here? Because as we know in, in the land of Spyro, it's always tragic when you move on and you leave one bloody ge uh, gem just hanging around. And you can, as I said before, you can see how slow our internet is by how long it takes to upload a photo. That video clip that I just uh, captured earlier, that will pop up in about six years time. I've had video clips pop up uh, <laughs> like a good few hours. Bearing in mind the video clips you take on the Xbox are 30 seconds long. Uh, and I don't know what the Xbox One X bitrate is. I know it's a lot higher than the OG Xbox, but it's not a stellar bitrate. They're not huge video files. Right. Uh, yeah, you kind of seem like you're away with them, to be honest, buddy. Cuddling that... Uh, that doll like that. That's, that's creepy. Okay, that dragon should be watched, I think. Alright, so we need a key. And we have some more fairies. Oh, the other thing that really, like, took me a while to get used to as well with Spyro 2 is the fact the water isn't instantly poisonous. You can actually swim in the water. Look how gorgeous these levels are, man. Oh, dude. Stunning. Oops. Uh, and I like that. I like that. Uh, the fact that you can just like swim around and you can go underwater. And the levels and the worlds are just a lot more complex and interesting. Okay. Uh, you wouldn't have thought a dragon could swim underwater. But yeah, in the second one they can. At least Spyro can anyway. You can do a lot more underwater swim like a champion actually and I actually quite like it it's good uh, I know you can climb at some point as well because there's ladders everywhere um, but I haven't unlocked that that's the stump that we need to destroy but we can't quite get to it yet there's loads of critters up there too which we'll get to in time singular gems ah Right, is that... Hang on, is this the other achievements? Bird brained. Nope. Flame all of the direction... Uh, yeah. Charge through four puffer birds in a row. Yeah, that's got to be this bit. Alright, cool. Yeah. That has to be that, I guess. Yep, there we go. All puffed up. Uh, you know, most of the achievements in this game have been fairly easy. But I do think... There we go. Not touching the ground is going to be the biggest challenge, possibly. Right, how do we get up there? There is a supercharge ramp over there. Which isn't too bad, actually. At least I think I remember how to do it. You know me, I'm not a huge fan of the supercharged ramps in this game. Never have been. They, they just seem a bit iffy to me. Thank you for oh, that guy's cool. You're most welcome, my dude. Right, let's take a little jump up these. Okay, so that takes us over to there, I guess. Right, let's go rescue another fairy. Nice, nice. Uh, wow, there's f only 400 gems on this level, which isn't many, actually. We're, we're kind of used to having 500, but hey, whatever, you. Now, if we get up here, where does this... Right, I, are we going to be able to... Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we can glide. That's cool. Singular gems will happen. Look at this dickhead. Up and down. It's a pretty boring life, just fucking floating around on blue, blue all day. 
executing him in such fashion was probably a kindness, to be honest. Right, where does this one go? Oh, that actually just takes you straight over there. I thought it did, but that's kind of redundant. <laughs> it's a bit silly, but yeah, whatever. All right, now, this is where we need to be in order to get the stump. You can die. Let's rob that. That seems like a very complex chest to hide a singular gem inside that's worth one. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah, I think that's what I would like to see. Like in a, in a Spyro, I don't know what they would call it, a, a new Spyro game. I would love to see um, kind of this sort of visual quality, really, with bigger worlds, I suppose. That's what they can bring to the table with the new systems. And 60 FPS. Absolutely. Oh, God. Right, now, this is a little bit tricky, actually. Yeah, I knew I was going to fuck that up. This is quite tricky to actually get to this um, stump, to be honest. And look, good thing we came back because we missed two gems in the grass. All right. Let's go back over here. We're actually very close to the end of this game. The final world, Nasty Norks area, isn't very big. In fact, it's really short considering it's, you know, the, the boss's world. You would have thought it's the biggest, most complex area. Oh, there we go. But it really isn't. Okay, so now... Yeah, go around here. Now this confused me as well. You can flame it all you want, but that doesn't destroy it. You got a head by it. And that gives us our skill point. Now. Now. I think we have but one area left to explore. And this should link up to the tiny little sections that we haven't been to yet. Because we've got one main area, which is this one. And there should be a super ramp here somewhere. Ah, there's a life. I mean, sure. Wait, hang on. What am I missing? There's him over there. Which we can get to. We haven't got the key yet. I don't think gliding around there will take us anywhere. Yeah, because you super... Yeah, there's the super ramp there that we can launch from. All right. So why? Ah, here we go. I was going to say, wait a minute, I know there's more stuff here somewhere. You can't hide from me, you bastards. This is a dick penis. Although, that actually went really bloody well. I think that's the first time I've ever done that in one shot, maybe. Usually always miss one of those enemies. But yeah, very long, complex level, this one. And I actually like the more complex levels. Some of the other uh, levels, you know, by the time you start really enjoying them, they're over. All right, friendo. Ah. Thanks. Supercharge will get you to new places here in Lofty Castle, too. See where it takes you. Hmm, you're a very strange fellow. I like the fact that your horns are electric. That's cool. Okay, so, super jump, you say. Now, let's see where this goes. So we've got to go round here. There we are. There we are. Now, where does that take us? We're still a few gems short, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, well, we've got the chest down there that we can pilfer. Definitely missed one area somewhere. Which may or may not involve the supercharge jump. Let's just flame these guys. Just because you never know. May the lucky dice gods be on our side. Yeah, that chest has, like, nothing in it. Curious. It's like, what was that? 20 gems? 25 gems? 
That was pretty pathetic. Okay, so where haven't we been? Let's have a little look. Ah. Um, I guess we haven't been over there. I mean, that's nice. I think you like it when it's nice and obvious for once, not some cryptic bullshit. I like it when it's nice and obvious. Okay, enemies leading the way. Now, question is... How do we get over there? Alright. I guess we need to go back over the other side. Alright, that's not too bad. And glide over. And that should, in theory, be all of the gems. Unless we've, like, left one in the grass somewhere. That's one thing that's a little bit... Uh, <laughs> of a hindrance with this uh, remake. Although it's very pretty. The long... Uh, rolling grassy hills can actually obscure gems very easily. But, you know, that's a very minor thing. It's only if you're derpy like me. There we go. Nice. We've got lots of critters here to kill. Excellent. Some fairies. Might as well unleash her whilst we're here. Do her a solid. Alright, you... And you. Oh god, you bastard. Give me your gems. Thank you. Uh, oh. Okay, so we've got her there. But there's still more, more souls to save. Oof. You don't get too close to these guys, because they will fucking lump you on the head. Uh, right. Ah, actually everything we need might be here. There's still a lot of gems. That's looking good. Yep, 15 gems. Yep, there we go. 15 gems up there. Mm, nice. Alright, give us a lift. Thank you. Cool. Yunk. Yunk. Okay, not bad. So that is that. 100% complete. Nice. Let's get out of here. And we destroyed the stump. So, when we come back, we need to destroy the wizard hat and we need to um so we need to destroy the wizard hat and do icy flight i'm not looking forward to icy flight i don't think it's the heart oh wait hang on <laughs> it might be the hardest one thinking about it right let's get our health topped up num, 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 num. good boy sparks Hey, and look at that. It's up to 70 lives. Jesus. I think that is a record. So, I'm going to edit there, guys. When we come back, we are going to... Yeah, that's it then. Yeah, so that's that. And then we can head off to the final world. The final world's really not very long at all. 85% complete. It's taken us 5 hours and 5 minutes. It's actually quite a long time. It's a very short game, to be honest. Skill points. Yeah, we need to go back to Haunted Towers and burn the blue wizard hat. Mm hmm. And then we just need to do the fight level. Cool. Alright, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.